for me, you know, I've come on a quite a journey myself because I came from a real science background. I was the, the science geek, the kid at the science fair, and I went to MIT, I got this engineering degree. And so all of this, you know, feelings stuff, I wasn't really exposed to. And mm. maybe in the last 10 years of London Real and having all sorts of incredible people come on my show and having my life change, I started to get in tune with energy and good energy and good energy people and and uh, positive thoughts and all that. And I, I noticed my life changing. And I, I'm an engineer, so we I do recognize patterns. And I said, wait a second, something's changing here and it could be correlated to the way I'm feeling, thinking, contributing, etc. And so I'm much more attuned to this now. And in the last four months, I've been doing these kind of walking meditations in the morning and really channeling things and seeing things and making my future happen kind of now. and it's amazing that we're having this conversation now because even a year ago, I don't know if I would have been as ready to talk to you about this because I mean, Rhonda, I'm seeing this stuff happen in my life the more I do it. And so I can't wait to jump in. And I know people listening are gonna want us to get into detail, which I wanna do because you've got great (laughs) thoughts when it comes to wealth and love and health and things we can think about or not think about. And even some of the stories that you tell about you and I think that would be really helpful if we can get into some of that stuff. Um, uh, Before we do, I was wondering if you could explain to people that might not really understand like how big the secret was because back in 2006, you know, YouTube (sighs) wasn't around then. The internet was in its infancy really. Um, And yet still you went around the globe with this thing. And the numbers I just read off, I mean, Rhonda, I have a lot of New York Times bestselling authors on my show, but very few of them were on the list for over 200 weeks. I mean, like, you know, this phenomenon I just described, it was so Mm -hmm. big. And again, this is pre-social media. So I was wondering if you could explain to people that either aren't familiar with it, kind of how big it was, that that whole phenomenon, how your life changed tremendously in 06 when all this happened. Wow, my life, well, my life just did a 360 completely in every single area. Um, it just completely, completely changed. And the secret was, it was, it was just so enormous. Um, it, was, it was like a phenomenon really across the planet and and people would ask me, would ask us, who, which PR company did you use for the secret, and <laughs> or you know what advertising campaign did you did you do, and do you know we didn't have um, we didn't have a lot of money, and so we made in house as I had a production company, we made one trailer and we put that out on the internet, and that was all that we did. That was it. And we also released the secret movie on the internet. And it was the first movie to appear on the internet. Mm -hmm. Um, And our CEO at the time worked on the rewind and the back and the forward and the pause and all of that. So, um, but it it was just so big. (laughs) Um, Hundreds of millions of people. There wasn't a country in the world that it didn't touch. It was number one in so many countries. Um, it Yes, it was on the New York Times bestseller. It was the number one bestseller of all books. Um, and it would, you would just see people everywhere with that book. And it's all that everybody was talking about. I mean, it was, it was viral beyond viral. It, it was it was massive, and what was so fantastic about it is that a person would buy the book or see the movie, and they would immediately begin to put those put the practices into place in their life, like thinking more positively, being grateful, visualizing, and bingo! Immediately, everything began to change. So they then became the most incredible ambassador of the secret. So they're telling their family, their brothers, their sisters, their friends, and and what's more for so many people, buying books for them. Like people that I would meet, they would say, I've bought 40 books and given them away. And they were so excited, just as excited as I was when I discovered it and could not wait to share it with the world, just couldn't wait. 
Like I can remember I would I can remember walking down the street and seeing people stressed and internally I would be saying to myself, Don't worry, the secret's coming. <laughs> the secret's coming, everything's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be fine. So it was it was absolutely enormous. And um and for us, when I discovered it, I didn't tell anybody what I had found. I researched it for four months just on my, my own, going back through history. And then I shared it with my team. And I said to my team, we're going to make something that the world, that will really rock the world, <laughs> bring joy to the world. And um, and at that time, I mean, I had, I was $2 million in debt with my company. Um, I had no foreseeable way of doing this, really. I had a production company, so I knew I could make, you know, a a documentary or a film, but I just didn't have the money. But do you know what? It was extraordinary because while making The Secret, we were living The Secret and learning The Secret, and so I would, and money was a huge thing. And so I would have, I would be visualizing, visualizing money coming. And um, I did that the whole time because in the end it was three and a half million dollars and I was $2 million in debt. And honestly, Brian, pretty well, I can't tell you where that money came from. It just appeared whenever I needed it, when I needed to pay staff, money would just come into the account on that day. And uh, it, it, it was a ride. And so I, I was, you know what? I was an Australian producer, unknown in the world, <laughs> had discovered something that I just still consider to be the greatest news that anybody can ever receive in their life and, um, and wanting to share it with the world. And so it was, and look what happened. So... But did we use the secret for the outcome of the secret? You bet we did. You bet we did. I visualized. I, I, I would walk past bookstores and I would see the secret book in the front window of the bookstores as a number one bestseller. And I didn't even know there would be a book, but I would just see it and I would just see people's lives changing, letters coming in. I saw all of that. I mean, we used to have what we would call intention meetings at 11 o'clock every morning where the whole secret team would come together and we would intend what we wanted, the outcome, joy to millions was our mantra. And um, and so we did all of, all of that. And so when people say, who was your PR company? I say, it was the universe. You know, because the universe touched so many people who then, like, it spread from one person to another to another. It, it just couldn't be better. Couldn't be more incredible. 